I look like Steve Jobs right now. Do you wanna buy an Apple Watch? Hey guys, it's Gunnar Deathridge. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, I'm a DIY designer. I make dresses, I take on fun challenges. Also, <gasps> say hi to the Biebs. Today, I am definitely testing the limits of what I am personally capable of, and I am doing something I have never done before, and that is a full digital 3D rendered runway show. I have partnered with Fiverr, who is going to help me make this happen today. I'm gonna work with their artist to 3D render out my clothing, make sure that they look like they're supposed to. They're going to look realistic like they would in real life. And I've also started working with a Fiverr artist who is going to be designing the runway and designing this like very fantastical world that's gonna like transport you to this like image board that I've had in my mind of where I want this collection to go. Make sure that you like this video, comment below if you guys will have ideas, wanna see something, and make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you see my content as it comes out. Okay, so let's get into the process. Uh, this is definitely something I have never done before. As you know, I'm a control freak. Control your emotions. A lot of this experience was absolutely just working with other people, having great communication, trying to be as clear as I possibly could. I ended up finding my artist that's going to be doing the renders first. His name is Michael. My name is Izuki Michael. I'm a third animator from Nigeria. Uh, Michael is based in Africa, and so I knew that the time zones were going to be a little off with us working together but he is so positive and so excited and like we had a really incredible zoom meeting whenever I start making a collection I have a general idea in my mind and like this collection started off with this idea of this like 1970s librarian it was like, quirky and weird I really wanted to explore that it felt very like colorful to me in my head I started out designing the clothing first and I went fabric shopping because I felt like I really wanted to make sure that if I was going to have patterns they existed in the real world so we could see what they were supposed to look like the weight of them how they were supposed to hang I found leathers that I'm going to use I wanted the sheens in there I really wanted to make sure that this collection felt like a real life collection I started sourcing out who was going to design the runway. I ended up partnering with this guy named Yusama and he has really dreamy work. He loves to kind of combine outdoor spaces with like large structural elements. It's very fantasy. And for me, it just kind of felt like this like weird setting for this. It's like, where's this girl going to live? Color was so important to me. And also this kind of ethereal nature, I think also is very important for like where I wanted this collection to go. And as I started working with him on this and kind of sketching out where it was going to go, I made the grave mistake of not talking with Michael first, who was doing the animation, because the runway design that we came up with didn't work, which I felt awful about. So I just got an email from Usama, who was doing the set, and apparently he talked with Michael, who was doing the clothing, and like there's been a miscommunication. One of them is in one time zone, one of them is in another. I'm in a very separate time zone, so. Um, apparently the animation is not going to work with the set, so there's going to have to be some redesigns with this. I don't know what this means, like we're really sneaking up on a deadline right now, like time is absolutely running out. I'm getting concerned. Um, I don't know what to say. It was easy for me to kind of convey what I was looking for, and then once we decided that the runway was going to be a T-shape, it was really a lot of back and forth trying to get the colors right, figuring out what the world was going to look like. He would put something in front of me, I didn't like it, and it had nothing to do with what he was doing. I just kind of visioned something different. And he was so receptive and so easy to work with. And truly that's been my experience with everyone I've worked with on Fiverr is like, you're just getting real people that are doing real jobs. And so it's like incredible that you can like sit down and like have this kind of collaborative work with them and like really create art. Because in a week and a half, we managed to make actual art. So once I got over my little dilemma, <laughs> where I like lost my mind for a moment, Michael started sending me the renders and I got to see them move on the runway and like, oh, what a cool feeling. Like, I love the way that they're looking. It feels so like cool and chic and like they move down the runway and it's just like, it really gives you the vibe that you're there. And so it's like, I am just loving the process of being able to work with somebody and fine tune a product that is exactly what I had in my mind, but I'm not actually having to make it. The Fiverr artists 
worked so hard for me and with me. I can't say enough good things about working on Fiverr. I love working with them. I'm able to make some really incredible things happen. And one thing that I found is that I was able to kind of choose who I wanted to work with based on the budget that I wanted to put into this. We were able to come together and meet in the middle and really kind of like put our best foot forward to make this beautiful runway happen. Without any further ado, let me premiere my, oh my God, what am I gonna call it? I don't know. So without any further ado, I think that it's time that we premiere my first collection in like four years in collaboration with Fiverr for Fashion Week. Enjoy. <laughs> Here are all of the looks that we made for the collection. I have to say that my favorite is look C. I just love the whimsy of it. I think the boots are really sweet with it. But what is your favorite? This was such a rewarding process to do. It's always so exciting to see the completion of a project, especially when you conceive it from your mind and then you get to work with other people to help make it happen. Also, make sure that you head over to fiverr.co slash gunnerdeathridge to check out their additional services.